Hello there, and welcome to another Leadership Reflection. Today we are answering a very important topic, or at least asking very important questions, and that is, um, should we follow a leader, or should we follow God? And that, of course, is a bit of a interesting question, because it's kind of tailored, in my opinion, in the wrong way, but I wanted to make you think with that. Because, um, again, same sort of challenge as we see with uh, following man systems versus following godly systems. Uh, is that those things seem to be kind of, kind of op- opposites, that you cannot do both. You cannot have systems and you cannot follow God at the same time. But, of course, in that topic we already discussed that you can actually do both with the leading of the Holy Spirit, provided that the systems you're speaking of are godly kingdom systems. But what about leaders? Because uh, Jesus, for example, said that you have one master, and that is Christ. That is he, Jesus. And you should be brothers and equals and not rulers over each other. But then again, uh, God has also given into the body some people to lead and some people to rule. At least that's the way I see it. So how do you reconcile again these two things? And we're kind of seeing the same pattern here. But let's do this one more time, I guess. Um, So how to reconcile these two ideas? The way I see it is that some people are called call to lead and I hope many people are because we need a lot of leaders and some people might be called of God to follow and to help a specific leader so both of these optimally have a strong relationship with God as we uh, discussed in the previous uh, video about the identity of a son son, not son, (laughs) Um, where you know you're calling and you're following God directly and you don't seek validation from men. But let's say both of these have a very strong relationship with God. Now, one option is that they both follow God independently. But sometimes we need to organize in order to do things. And actually, that's pretty many times if we want to operate as the body of Christ. So... Sometimes God might say that your calling is actually called to lead. So I will send you people and your responsibility is to take good care of them, disciple them, bring value into their life, treat them as as like my dear sheep. If you lose any one of them, you're responsible for that. So it, it is a stress, big burden for a leader to lead because they increase responsibility in front of God but it might be necessary for what God wants to do. For example, Jesus did this operation. But to some person, he might say that, hey, there's this leader, and I have given him a vision in this matter. And this relates again to this uh, topic of micro and macro. I recommend checking this video out, where you see different levels of callings in terms of macro of the vision for example some might be called to represent the city some might be called to represent a country or a continent or like a neighborhood whatever but people have different levels of visions and callings at least initially but let's say god has given this leader a vision of a city and authority over the city area and it's literally given spiritual authority over that area. Now, you might have, have calling of God relating to that neighborhood. And God says to you, I want you to help this leader whom I gave authority in this city. I want you to subject yourself to him. Uh, because his ministry is important, and so is yours. And I want you to crawl together with him. So you join his team. And what are you doing here? You're serving God by serving this leader here. 
And the leader is serving God by ministering to his followers here, serving his followers. And both are serving God and both stand equally. Like, let's say the final judgment comes and they go, both get taken up to the heaven. Then they both stand in front of the throne room of God. And God sits on the throne and judges, or Jesus judges, I guess. Um, and this person is responsible to Jesus. Like, you said me, you said to me that I need to follow this leader, and I did. Here's what I did. And here's the leader says, you said to me I should lead this project, and I didn't lose any of this. These people you gave me, here's what I did. You know, both fear God and are responsible in front of God. But their operations might differ, because this person is focused on the more macro aspects of things, while this is focused on more micro operations. And they have different responsibilities, but optimally, they both stand responsible in front of God directly. And let's say this leader, uh, so for some reason, quits his following of God. And this relationship is broken and he starts uh, following Satan instead. You know, pretty extreme example, but makes for a good demonstration. Is your um, responsibility still now to serve Satan through this leader? Well, you would consult with God, of course. Hey, we have an issue here. This leader is not following you. What should I do? And I would say probably, cannot say, say this with very strong confidence because that's God's business and not mine. But probably God would tell you, yes, it, it grieves me that he has made this choice. Leave that team. And I will show you another person to help, or you might take actually his his leadership position or whatever. You know, uh, Saul and David, for example. David served Saul, but Saul dished God. And afterwards, David was not no longer serving God if he would have served Saul, because Saul was no longer part of God's kingdom. So instead, God raised David as the king. But, of course, might be many other roads as well. So, that, again, here, you're, you're still primarily responsible to God. And you go to God first. But we have different roles in the kingdom of God. I don't think we should discard leadership in any way uh, because of this. But instead, find this synergy that God has given grace for different operations in the body. So, I hope you found this edifying and interesting. I would like to hear your thoughts, your thoughts as well. Um, what kind of experiences have you had as a follower? Have you been following God? And have you been in this sort of situation where God wanted to move you to a new place? Or where God told you to follow someone? Or to leave someone, for that matter. And what kind of experiences do you have? Share those thoughts in the comments or otherwise. And let's see each other in the next leadership 